And on this episode of The Honoring One, we're going to talk about what to wear in cold weather. And cold weather was yesterday. We started out in the Ozarks, it was 19 degrees. And we went live last night on The Honoring One's channel on YouTube, and we had a lot of questions about that. So, this morning, I thought I'd show you guys exactly what I put on for cold weather riding. Everything down to my skivvies, all the way up to the outer layer. So we're going to start right now, I mean, I'm going to start with my underwears. I wear spider underwear, get these at TJ Maxx, they're really, really cheap. This is what I wear for my underoos. Next thing I put on, my woolies. We talk about woolies a lot, we wear these. Steph and I both have a pair of these. These are from Bass Pro, we got these years ago, we did a lot of kayaking in the past. And just so you'll know, these are called Polar Max. So I wear extra large. Uh, that's where I wear, I'm around a 36, 38 waist. After I put them on, I go with a pair of just athletic socks. Just, these are just an ASIC brand. I pull these up to just over right at the top of the woolies. It kind of keeps them tucked in, as you can see there. That keeps everything pulled down and not riding up, I've found. So that's my first layer of my feet right there. Like I said, I tuck those woolies in really well. Next thing I do is I wear wool socks. These are redheads and we got them at Bass Pro as well. I go ahead and put them on. This is when you start opening the door if it's warm in the house. Learn something else too, already have your bike loaded. Cause if you get all this shit on and you go out there and load your bike up, you'll start sweating. And that's the worst thing. Cause as soon as you get on that bike, Get four miles down the road, you start cooling off, and that sweat gets cold on your back, usually where it is. A big deal, Steph and I do, we already have our bike loaded. So you can see, guys, I pull those wool socks up over my woolly pants. After that, just the old nifty thrift store fine t-shirt that we found somewhere. I take this. All my layers I tuck into my wool pants uh, to keep everything nice and tight. No wind getting air. The next thing I do is I put my pants on and I just run just a Levi pants. These are actually a little big. I have a pair that's a little bigger than I usually wear. And you know Levi's, they all fit different, they stretch out. But these right here are actually 36s. And as you can see down at the bottom, I have my boot straps. Uh, I just go ahead and put them on and stretch them over my my boots, after I get my boots on, so they're on there. That keeps them from blowing up when you're running 100. Before I button my pants, I put my long sleeve on. It's just layers, but I do like this next layer to have buttons right here, so I can unbutton and button. A lot of times I'll put a handkerchief down in there. I have a sin and neck wrap right now that I put down in there, so it's working really well. On top of this layer, I always run button-up shirt, old pearl snap black shirt that I like. It's big. <clears throat> it's a western, not a, it's a long tail, western cut tailored fit. It's not, where it fits real tight here. I found one that is more of the work style, I would call. It's got some room in here, plus it has a long tail. It's really long. It looks like a dress on if you just put it on. With that being long, you can tuck it in and getting on and off the bike and getting fuel and all that, you don't have to worry about that coat tail or that shirt tail working up out of the back of your pants. So I like to run a long tail button up over top of everything. Tighten my old belt that I've had forever. My old trusty knife on it. I run that knife everywhere, I love it right here. Then the next thing I do is I run these old chaps. These old chaps are Unique. I found these seven, eight years ago at a little old store dinner at home. It was the only pair of chaps that they had that fit me. These are extra, extra, extra large. So, uh, may not like the color, may like the color. Honestly, I didn't get to pick. It was just something I needed on that day and I grabbed them. So, of course, I put my chaps on. After that, I was going to show you guys my boots. These things I'm really proud of. Uh, Steph got these for me for Christmas this year. These are the Harley Davidson Grafton boots, are waterproof. 
I wore them for a little bit and then I went ahead and got them really cleaned up and then I did put a spray silicone um, waterproofing over the top of them, coated it like three or four times. These had made a big difference in yesterday. Like I said, when we left out of the Ozarks, it was 19, 20 degrees. Made a big difference, especially later in my, boot, my uh, socks like I did underneath the boots. Did they get cold? I did eventually get cold. We ran for about three hours. We did pull over and get warmed up, but I tell you, I can make it. Toes are a lot better. I'll move on now. On top of this, what I run on top of, after I get my chaps on, I've got an old hoodie here. It's a Carhartt hoodie. Once again, it's long. All right guys, so uh, throw these old chaps on. Throw my old graftings on. Like I said, I'll just pull my bootstrap back. These are really good too because they're totally winged in here. Waterproof. I like the zip on the side and the, uh, the lace on the front. I deal with a little bit of arthritis in my feet, so this really helps whenever I'm hurting being able to get my boots on over my feet. Uh, by the way, these are all the clothes that I wore yesterday. We'll run clothes for three or four days. Change out my underwear and my socks. But we were like we this trip right here will be on the road for 18 to 20 days. So we run with just two pair of pants and a few shirts so we can run light because we don't have the room, you know. Uh, we'll stop here and there at different places and get our laundry done. We'll do our laundry, we don't get it done. We go somewhere and get the has machines and do our laundry. Um, so that helps, you know. With weight, a lot of people are saying, oh man, that's disgusting. And you know what? You do get a little stinky. We ran, I think the most that stuff and I have run when we were camping, when it was warmer, we ran four days without showers. Now, you talk about stank after four days of no showering or bath. Man, you ain't worried about your clothes. So anyway, guys, there's the old chaps on, get them situated. Got everything situated there. So that is pretty much what I wear on the bottoms. Uh, I've got that done. <clears throat> like I said right now, whoo, I'm starting to build some heat. This seems to really work. Something else I want to tell you guys about. If you've got, if it's really, really cold, which you know, like we're saying, 19 down in the 20s and stuff, it is cold. You can take your rain gear, put your rain gear over the top of this too. That'll cut a lot of wind. I know it sounds crazy, but if it's if you've got big enough rain gear, you can put that over there. That's just another layer that most of us have handy, and I'd use it. So I'll move on to the next. Um, of course, is the old the old leather jacket that I've had. Actually, that's Steph's brother's that she that he ran for years. I got that from him. Carhartt hoodie. Uh, I've got this Senna neck warmer. I always put on. And, Bring it down underneath my beard, tuck it in around my, my collar, bring this back up, you know, and get this all button situated. Then I throw the old hoodie on. And with the hoodie, I noticed yesterday too, I hadn't really done this, but <clears throat> we've got new Arai helmets. Uh, I was able to take this hoodie and pop it up and put my helmet over the top of it. It was a little snug but it kept my neck from getting a little, a little breeze down it. So as you can see here, guys, I've got one, two, three, this is my fourth layer. Uh, then, of course, take your old leather coat, toss it over the top, and you have to work it a little bit. I have to work it, get my shoulders in, 
Get my Carhartt hoodie all situated, which there it is. So the next thing that I picked up that I never had ran with is uh, some gauntlet gloves. I got these up here at Denny's Harley Davidson the other day when we was at home. Uh, these have really came in handy because I can zip this down. Of course, the gauntlet glove goes over the top of the sleeve of your coat, keeps that air from going up your sleeve. Worked great. First time I've ever had these. Now, I've got to remember not to throw these gloves on because I put my helmet on. Put your helmet on, fasten it down, of course. Put your glasses in, of course, put, then put your gloves back on. So yeah, for as headgear, we're running the Rai Region X. We just got this a few days ago, and uh, this is the first run that we've ran with these helmets. Soon to be working out really well. They got a lot of flow, uh, like yesterday, we'll definitely be able to see that steaming up in the, uh, the visor there, and it worked out really well. So, that, is a real quick video had a lot of questions this is what i wear uh, like i said we started out in the teens we rode all day and it got up to 41 42 degrees and then started dropping back off we stopped when we got gas uh, which is uh depending on your bike you know over 200 something miles we stopped pulled over got fuel warmed up a little bit we stopped one time and ate so we handled the code pretty well this is what we did, and uh, I hope this video helped you guys. I had a lot, like I said, I had a lot of questions. I just wanted to show you guys what I did. Maybe it'll help. If you got any questions or anything, drop it in the comments below. We're fixing to load up. We're going to head down to New Orleans. We're going to Mardi Gras. Then we're going to cut the coast and run over to Daytona. Thanks for tuning in. Like always, guys, you guys stay honored.